Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today, today I am going to continue the e-commerce website part 3. In our last two videos, we have covered about the brand and category. In this tutorial, I am going to teach about the products. Let's move into the product table. This is a product table look like this. Okay, ID, cat ID, brand ID, price, description, image and keywords, right? These keywords are used to search search the search engine of uh, e-commerce, right? These are the keywords, right? So here, this is simple one. So here, cat ID one, brand ID two mean, this is the things. Cat ID mean here, this one. Cat ID one means we cop, uh, cap. Brand ID two means Samsung. Okay, this is how we have, a, we have listed the products, right? Okay, this is the stuff we have to list the project, uh, product, right? This is a description caps. Okay, this is a product. The cap right now what I'm going to do is here I'm going to list the, this particular products so how to list how to list this product uh, look like this we'll see so let's back to our code index.php we already discussed about the category and brand now have we, we look at that part of the view of products right very simple i have made this product very simple okay for your example purpose if i made it a uh, very big project it's so boring to understand if i make look like this it is very easy to understand and you have to make the your future project right project right very simple right right okay this is your div which name is products okay this is the product this div i have made the ideas products where are your products would be displayed uh, inside inside this div okay your products are displayed inside this div right now what i'm going to do is here we are attached to all the styles all the stuff right so here when the page is loaded we have to load the category method as well as a brand method as well as a get products method right this we have already discussed about the category part as well as a brand part now i'm going to switch back, uh, so moving to our get products function right here get products function i have created open bracket and close bracket inside here we have to create the ajax function we have to type we have set it as a get url all products all products mean we have to uh, get the information now about the all products right format json format this is ajax success function we have to display all the stuff right so when the page is loaded uh, it goes to the link all products so where's the all products all product right now here we have joined the table okay and we have to okay this one should be the uh, category uh, uh, select id cat id brand id we need only the products only so cat id brand id price description image and keywords from product table order by random and if i call this function random order by random mean it is display on this product randomly here it will be here if you refresh it here it will randomly it will be generated here we each refresh time here it will be randomly it will be displayed so that i have called this random function okay sql code right now here limit i have select select as 0 to 6 only the home page i will be show only the six products right if you want to show the more products, we have to put it here, the uh, pagination, right? Pagination stuff we will discuss about later on. Okay, if I dis uh, discuss about in this project, it is very hard to understand and you will, uh, you are not touching, you are not continuing your, this project, right? So that I am uh, skip off this part, right? So here, only show the limit, six products, randomly generate the products. So here we load all the, necessary columns so if we are set into the relevant variables right this so all the columns you have copy control c to copy and paste it here build here the bind method we have to make it as a variables all right after that we have to execute why put the while loop set the array array function you have to write this like this you have set to all these variables you have to write like this. this is a key this is a value this key is value key value right you are set it to all the stuff and we have to echo encode in output into encode json output 
okay this output will be uh, sent back to our index.php page when you are calling it it will be get all it it will fetch all the data from that particular page and it will be fetch from that page and pass into here right this ajax success function so get the data here you can check this all the this testing part i already taught in my uh, brand part and category part here also you can check whether the product is coming or not successfully here console.log data you can check here here right click and impact you will be able to check here console here the product information will be there right it will check okay you can get it here okay this will check product right so you can check here right so here if it is uh, oh, right. okay console.log so here we get the data all the pages so here you have to set in the relevant way id price and images and description all the names are coming here okay id price and description only we have to get it okay id price and description okay these three things we have to get it here so here we have to get id price images description so we have to we have to write here the thing is uh, product div this is a div we have uh, we have to append we have to append on this div inside this div we have to uh, display all all the product information so i have gave the id which is a products id so we have to write here products we have to append we have to call the forms completely form this and we have to call it okay we have to append it inside the in the inside this div how to look like this okay so you have to append it here you don't don't worry about this all the source code we have to provide it this how here is get to all the variables we have set into here images what i did here is i only save the image uh, give the name only the image one two three four six all the stuff okay so here in this project i have created the images folder inside the images folder i have give all the images what is the images i have placed all the images here so check this one to this this all the images we have put into this in, uh, inside this images folder so you have to give the path src images this image image mean what is the image you are set it here we have to, uh, I, I i just set it here one two three like this but this one uh, uh, the first image will be display here one two three like this it will be image will be display okay so right so likewise this images will be displayed okay right this how we have to display like so here the button we have set it as a uh, when the product is we have to add it into a card so we have put the button here this is a button button also we have to set the id this id is generated for the product right id should be unique this product id this id should be unique so we easily to under uh, identify the product which product you have going to order so uh, it is identified by the id so i i set into the add button okay below okay when the customer come and click add to cart this item should be added into the cart okay the item should be added into the cart here this is a tv go here it's added to the cart this one should be added into your cart it identify the id right so that we have to make sure the id okay this is how here e-commerce website works right very simple one okay don't worry about that i so this course all source code i provide you uh, i i make the i make this one as a simple purpose right there, there are many tutorial available right so they are explained the many things and put put the include their video but this is a very simple stuff okay what this is a very uh, but i have explained very simply and i have put into the uh, ajax course without reloading the page here so all our things are ajax it's a very here that's why it, it is not loading here i'm putting the ajax here the simple one okay very simple one right this how we have products should be works right so how to check this icon and the relevant product information will be display all the stuff i will be continuing in my next lecturing thank you for watching we'll see in my next lecturing